Hello and welcome. Now, we have got a task to do, and I've been think, racking my brains as to the best thing. We're going to need, one thing we're going to need, which I'm going to do right now, is really, we're going to need the Omatana. We're wasting a lot of this field, so I'm thinking I'm going to stick it at the edge of this. And also, I probably will at some point plow this corner out here to make the field a little bit bigger if we're going to use it as a field for a, for a time until we can afford to buy another field. So, first thing we're going to need is, if we're going to process, I was thinking about this, I, I said, can I afford a baler? Bottom line is, no, but we can afford, to, it's a small field, it's not going to really take an awful lot, can we stick there? No, no, because we're blocking entrance to that shed, that was my biggest concern all along, really. We could clip, there's quite a bit of clipping of corners we can do. But again, we're going to need a tractor and things like that. Uh, we've got a slight tick up with this on month to month, but I don't want to just speed time up just for the sake of speeding time up, if you know what I mean. I really don't. Are they proper trees? Are the trees on this so far, I've had a few tangles off camera with them, and they are very nice. You know, they really are like, don't tangle with me trees. <laughs> Truthfully, so... Yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm I'm living and learning. I am. I, yeah, this is uh, Oxygen David and GB Modin are very similar on the way that you're not supposed to tangle with the trees. So yeah, we're just going to leave the trees alone. It's just not worth the. Uh, oh, I must have gone past it. Yeah, I think it's early on. I was yeah concentrating too much on talking to yourselves. I will get the much got reanalysis pack mod the um, the production shed because it is amazing but it doesn't do what we want it to do now no we need really the uh, I'm gonna click on it as well just to make sure because I, I didn't feel like I got the name of this right last time right it really is at the beginning it is the farm supply production steel it is now we don't really need we only need the front so it can really sneak sneak into that little bit of a place and if it's if it moans about trees we can always like use v mode really took it back i do all i need really from that is the fact that it ah actually you can stick it in normally but yeah if you can can you still get to it i don't want it to be so far back that we can't actually get to it oh that's not bad really i don't think it's not wasting any fear because those trees are in the way. Smash it. That's not bad. I, I can live with that. I want to do some landscaping, but obviously we are seriously, seriously low on funds. There's only one way I'm going to do this, and that's by leasing. We're going to do it in stages because obviously we've got a lot of um, money there tied up in that. So we need to lease. I was looking at the best possible way, and I would like to bring this tractor in as our lead tractor, but I can't afford it right now. So... Yeah, there's nothing in the sales that we could afford or that we really want, but I was thinking I could obviously go for Talianas. I was looking at the price of the front loaders, that as in the proper front loaders, the um yeah, I was looking at the price of those. Not the wheel load, like the front loaders, which is uh there. I was. I was looking at the price of the the Kramers I like. I didn't realise I liked the Kramers until I actually had one on one Let's Play. Never remember its name. It was originally an Oxygen David map that was taken over by Stevie, and I can never remember its name beginning with a K. I always remember that, but I can't remember anything else about the map. And it is a good map, and it was the one I did as ultra realistic, and I cannot for the life of me remember its name. Anyway, that's immaterial. Yeah, I'd, I'd gone through this last night off camera very briefly, and I thought, oh, yeah, I wanted this. I tested it off camera and, and then played the playback back a while back to see if it was. I brought in a very old friend, which I really do wish to be bringing back in because now the noise is not awful. And for what we're doing now, we do need that, and we need to lease it. We don't need a front, do we? All we need is the front loader. It's only lugging. And it's 1734. Now, is it at 180 horsepower? Now we need to lease a front loader. And I would imagine, well, there's not much in it. Uh, are we, oh, I could go for my favorite, really. And 
go because it, it fits best with its own thing. That's what I'm thinking, and I, I will we'll stick to it as red, but yeah, because it's it's a lease. And we also need to we don't front load of tools, which is right next door. And we are going to need a weight. I must remember this, or else I will be in serious trouble. Yeah, we'll get this. We'll get this lot pulled over. It's, it's going to look messy because there's, I've got no other choice. There's no tidy way to do this when you're backed against the wall and you've got a massive stack that high, and you've only got a front loader to do it. I cannot reach that high to grab things from the top. There's only one way this is going to happen, and that's by me dragging the stack down, which I apologise for in advance, because it's messy, but desperate times call for desperate measures. In truth, as the old saying goes, it truly does. Right, so, are we gonna, no, we still need to lease it. Everything's got to be leased, because we are really, really... Right, so now we need a weight. We'll go for... Do we buy this? Because the self-made weight is is like super duper cheap anyway. And just we're gonna need one in time. So to me, it just seems silly to lease. Oh, I suppose yeah, every penny might count. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. We're not gonna tap, but yeah, well, let's go over to the shop and pick that lot all. And we're going to need a bale trailer for this. Now that has got to go. It's got to go. We can't have that as the uh, number plate. That is just too. Yeah. Too bad. Cara and a tricks always. Oh, you can't. Got to put up with it now. Oh well. Yes, this is so much quieter. Massive, massive shout out to Pepe. Because this is, yeah, I've got to be honest, this is one of my favourite tractors. It really is. Um, especially at the start, of it. it's 180 horsepower. Very, very reasonable. It's, um, oh, I know what I've done. I've did the first option. Right, okay, so then we need to send that one back. What a waste of money. No, we can't. No, it's got to be returned. It was only, only cost us pennies. Right, okay, let's stick the weight on at the very least. It is. It's one of my favourite tractors, especially starter tractor. If you are like we are now, I would buy this outright if we've got enough money. And we obviously we've spent an awful lot of money. We've had to do because you've got to speculate to accumulate, and you've got to invest in the things you really need. And we really need. Now then, that's it. We want to go front load of tools. Unless this time we get it right, even if it's a couple of hundred, it's a couple of hundred we cannot afford. That's what we needed to do. Do you know, seriously? Yeah. Right. Oh, sorry, young lady. It is a definitely one of my favourite tractors, though. It really is. The only reason I ever stopped this was because it was so noisy when I played it on um, the Black Sheep Modding Mac. It really was my first tractor, and it was amazing. But it was just too noisy. You couldn't hear me talk, which <laughs> a lot of people might actually like that, but not very good if you're trying to create content now. Then it's just got to be reverse in a way. It's going to do that flip thing. It might even flip the tractor, but I've got no choice really. Can you still reset leased equipment? I think you can, can't you? I don't think I've ever done it. So that's why I'm asking. I don't think I've uh, ever done that, but I think you can. Yeah, it does do that little funny flip. Right, let's get over there. I think in the circumstances, although we do need a trailer, I think we're going to literally grab them a few at a time, and because it's just across the way, we are going to produce digestate, though, so we're going to need, and that's something we're going to buy. Are we? Are we? Well, really, it would be simpler to lease a... Um, we've got that. I agree with Marty. Marty left a comment yesterday. Uh, it was about, obviously things have moved on a pace do we lease or do we actually buy that that 
we have obviously that trailer. It is a little bit too big for the map, but for what we want to do, for just dragging it across our yard, it's big, and that's what I'm thinking. So do we do the dolly and buy the H2 Studios? Because it is very reasonable. We don't get much more reasonable than that. Do we just buy that? So that we've got... Nearly cost us me as much, really, as the... Um, the trailer itself, but that's what I say. The trailer's a bargain. And even the Omatana, which is probably better suited for the map, and I will use that for things like if I was at the farmyard, I would use that because it's smaller. But in our place, it doesn't really matter that it's all. Is that. Why is that? It's gone underneath. It has. Uh, Okay, can we? I don't think you can use it, even though it has got a rear hitch. Technically, on the front of the Fiat Agri, it's a little bit like the... Um, that's that's a, a pin hitch. And we've got a pin hitch, pin bolt hitch thingamajig on our front. So really, technically, you should be able to grab that, but I don't think the game actually does it. I don't think it understands, if you know what I mean, that well, you can grab that. It doesn't. It's not accepted. The only one you can do that with is the lightweight. Wow, I'm being silly. We have a means, a very special means, of actually picking that up, and I'm being daft. I'm thinking two, two dimensionally rather than three dimensionally. Yeah, Marty did have a point. It is true for this map, really. Only, the only bad thing is, as well, um, I really wanted to do rabbits. Oh, that is a point. I checked before this session to see, can you buy the enclosures? And the answer to that question is no. So, yeah, as long as the storyline's going, I cannot do rabbits. Yeah, the dog station David doesn't put the things it is only at the original farm so that is rather sad because I can't do them at the minute which is really bad but yeah and I do agree obviously this really is a little bit big but all we've got to do is get this into our field and it will do everything we want it to do so it's not like we're going into tight spaces where it will do what we want it to do and yeah I know it really needs repairing but it is Really, our back is against the wall. It is still a little noisy, though, the Fiat Agri. It is, but it's not like it used to be where you really couldn't hear yourself think at all. We still have an option. We can do contracts, really, but... I really would like... I think we've got enough silage in there to actually... And then we'll have Digestate, which... Um, haven't I put the wrong one down, really? I think I have actually, yeah, and I'm thinking long term, I was thinking about when we've got mowers, cutting the grass, sticking the grass in and getting the digestate from that, but it's the digestate really is for the um, production shed, which we haven't placed. Luckily, we have been very, very frugal. We will have enough money with what we've got and the equipment we've got now, so we can do just about do it, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to stick that little tiny production shed in because it is beautiful. Very, very tiny. Mean, yeah, I mean, the farm supply production is nice and small now that Omatan has uh, changed it. But even so, the, yeah, I mean, in fact, that's thinking about that. It will probably go on the right hand side. Right, so let's drop. No, we want to drop the. So, and then we need to grab that back, and great demand at Folly Down Bales. How much great demand is, yeah, no, we, we are not doing that, but it is intriguing, it is, and it's nice to see Folly Down Bales. What is the great demand for? Oh, well, it's got to be for bales, so if we look at silage first... Folly down bales, it's not that, but it just, it's, yeah, no, it's not, it's not, is it hay? Yes, it is, it's hay. 
It's a, it's a few a few pounds more. So do you know, yeah, I said dollars yesterday uh, in uh, Edison. I thought, why did I say dollars? We're on an English map, and I know that. Why would I make such a mistake? And oh, I have to pull out of the way. Yeah, obviously we we can't even afford mowers and things like that. So although long term, I was actually right. First things first is it's in order of the way that we need to do things. Ah, that's better. We did grab it after all that faffing around earlier. So drop that now. So now for the job of grabbing these as nicely as possible. So we're going to literally grab them from as high as we can, but which is not very high with these because you've got to do it this way. So, oh, no, I don't want to just push it down like that. That, that was never the plan. It really is about pulling the stack over like that. Which I know is a little bit uh, bad. The other thing is we need to switch this on. Silage, like so. And we need to go electric charge, selling, methane selling, digestate storing, smashing. That is what we need to do. Excellent. So let's get these going and we will place once we've made ourselves a bit yeah I think we'll put it in that corner actually the um, just tucked out the way a little bit or somewhere on this side where it's not going to affect things too badly yeah but I, I would like to buy this the bit agri uh, not with this number plate but yeah definitely would like to buy this this would be our yeah the, I'm not going to get anything cheaper than that truthfully so yeah it's a uh, right let's not I pick up uh, half of the thing. So we've got the beginnings with having that beautiful tanker. That's really has set us quite nicely on our path. It's just a, yeah, my ears right. It, 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 on the other farm, it really was. It was a bit of a struggle, really, to be to say the least. Yeah, I mean, all I could do was reverse and go forwards. It really isn't, as I said, it's big equipment is not for this map. It really isn't. It really is about very careful planning on equipment, truthfully. Uh, Oxygen David really, by the turns and that interfields and stuff like that, is really making it fairly obvious that it's for little equipment, not big. All right, so we should go for that little stack of fur. Uh, Caught, go sideways here, and then grab that other six or so ah there you go too high you've got to think it grabs straight ah do you know something let's just not try and struggle there's six ton bales it's not really going to matter let's just uh, just takes time as I said I, I, we could just about probably afford we, we could, I mean, I know which, obviously, and I think everybody who's in any of my Les Mis knows exactly what uh, trailer I would go for in a pinch. It would be the TPS. I've got to go really low to grab all of these. Yeah, it would, and it is a, such a cracking trailer. I mean, if I'd got more money, I would be tempted to go for the 82 Studios. But again, as we found on that, actually, the TPS probably suits the map better. So, uh, on this particular map, TPS probably is the better of the uh, options. It two studios is a little bit wasted, even though I do love it, I really do. Uh, but yeah, no, I have just got the two I want. Fantastic, I think we're nearly there. Right, so then we should just about can we pick up six? It does allow you to pick up a lot of bales as we all know, so I yeah, we should see. I think I'll probably only get... Oh, no, no, you did manage somehow to get all of them. I think that's going to be more than the hopper can handle, but we shall see. It's not always easy to see. Yeah, I think that's near full. Yeah, smash it. I thought so. Right, so then we've got that. That is going to start to tick up, and it does devour. I mean devour things now. But So let's place... We're going to need... Um, yeah, because we're going to use the digestates to make fertilizer straight away. So we need production. Yeah, I placed the wrong thing first, really. I am. I was thinking long term, so we did need the Amazon, but certainly not yet. We could have bought more equipment had we have done it the right way around. Of course, we do need this. Huh. 
Oh, it must be the skirt. Which is a bit... Oh, or is it the trees? Oh, okay. Seriously? You're overlapping with things there. What? Well, you're not going to lose much in the corner, really, I don't suppose. Do we need to get... Can we have it close to the tree? So we can get past it a little. Trouble is, I really did want it over here. Because obviously we're not going to cut over there. I just... Oh, I think we'll just use V-Mode. What we want to do if we're going to use V-Mode then... It doesn't always let you landscape afterwards. We need to put some painting down. And we'll use the concrete that... Uh, why is that there? Forest ground. I do like the forest ground very much so. But yeah, we'll use the concrete. We'll do what we should be doing. And... Brilliant. And then we'll stick that down, which has disappeared, of course. Goes to the beginning. It does sometimes give you a chance. I just don't ever, can't ever work out how it does it because it seems a bit random. One time it'll keep it there, and then another time it won't. It's, it's really strange. I just don't see the logic to it. There might be some, but I've not worked it out yet. Yeah, it's as flat as a pancake. That's the good news. And I think that's not far off. Tell me that's not going through the field. No, it's not. It is exactly where I wanted it to be. Fantastic. It's. Uh, I don't think this one would probably let you paint, actually. Yeah, those are one of the plants that you can't... Yeah, when you place, you can't paint them out, either. No, they, they stay there. I don't know what they are, but, uh, yeah, they, they are, like, here to stay. So, then, uh, we need to tell the digestate. Ah, no, we need to do a couple of things storyline yeah on camera let's do course play because the course play wages on this let's play now are free naught percent yeah because it's my family that's working with me they are staying over as I said so that is like uh, do we need a nomatana for water we, we do in time but not at the minute no digestate we need to tell the digestates to go to distributing, and we need. Wow, that's doing that quickly. Whoa, that's amazing. So we want the production shed to be doing the. Yeah, it's obviously it's a little bit of a shame because it actually does waste more than it would do if you did it as manure there's no loss if you do it as just digest it, it loses 500 um, for every 2000 but it's still fantastic so yeah now we need to be on that and we need to be selling solid fertilizer brilliant excellent so back in business yes yeah, it's, it's all like old times so now all we need to do really is speed up a bit of time to get some money and we should earn some serious dosh. I mean, for us anyway. I mean, yeah, it's, I'm not talking about serious, serious dosh. Yeah, it will be serious. Coming from where? Well, yeah, that, that, that's fairly serious. And there's, that's the fertilizer business kicking in as well. That's. I think that'll be it. Yeah, I think the old oh, digest it should go out again. That's it. I think that will be it though. Yeah, we just literally took the last of our digest date. We might have a bit of fertilizer on the hour. Yeah, the digester is still being done, so we really probably best, it's ten past four, probably best to um, to sleep through till the morning, really. Uh, do we send these back now? Do we buy them? I think we send them back. They have achieved their goal. I would, do we purchase that now? Yeah, we will, we'll purchase that. Yes, and the front loader we will also purchase. Yes, and the weights we will also purchase, because I would have that anyway. The Fiat Agri, 
I will return, not because I don't want it, but because, yeah, you never know what's on the sales. I've always said this, I always treat the sales as most important. If that doesn't, though, that is what we're going for, truly. And I'm not expecting to get up first thing in the morning. What <laughs> yeah, just before everyone says, you, you, what are the chances that I agree totally? What are the chances of that, right? So we want to be sleeping till the morning. We should get a little bit more of a tick up from that because there's a lot of digestate to go turn into fertilizer. So that is amazing. So yeah, I know we've not got a field scanner and stuff like that. I might lease that. Now we want nine o'clock. It is back end. Yeah, there's an order to this type of thing when your back's against the wall. And you really have got to observe that. I was only lucky because, oh wow, that is amazing. That really is. Now that that is it as well. Oh, that was a good property income as well. That that was the tick up. That thing is quite amazing. So much. That was a very good tick up though. That was, uh, it's, it, I didn't know it could go that high. It wasn't supposed to. Let me just show you so you know I'm not sort of cheating. As in like, it doesn't say that it earns that much. Let me just go, production, generators. I've never played this one before. It's the windmill pack. It's supposed to be 4,800 per month. So, hot with passive income. I'm, yeah, it does say it's holiday, but I'm not making it up. Yeah, so that that's so to get seven thousand summer is quite phenomenal. Let me just switch off my phone. I keep seemingly forgetting to do recently. Right, so then we're at one hundred fourteen thousand three hundred thirty-one. We will check the sales. We have like got mowers to buy and all that, all that as well. <laughs> I think we'll buy the Fiat Agri that we just had, but we are this time not going to... Ooh, that is a very good... Isn't that a Porsche as well? Uh, I think you'll find it's a, in the newer spreader. It is. It is. A, uh, yeah, it's a spreader. It is no good to us. It's a yeah, lime and spreader. No, I, I would go for something much smaller and more reasonable. But we do need a tractor, and I am going to go for the Fiat Agri, as I promised I would, which is going to take quite a chunk out of our uh, money, but we'd need a tractor. I mean, it's a beauty. I'm going to go front linkage, and it's going to cost me more, and I'm going to go for the... Yeah, I know it costs you, but it's, it doesn't affect your field of vision so much. Although I know I don't go in that mode that often. I suppose it's more important if you... You can go narrow, as I'm sure you can. One that, no, it's not knock-ins. Used to have narrows anyway. Aha, it has. And they don't look awful either. Right, uh, we don't want those now though. Standard, yeah, they'll do nicely. Design, no, we don't, we don't. Yeah, map, beacon lights. Standard, does that mean it has beacons or it doesn't have beacons? Well, we will go for a double beacon. And a front loader attacher. And we definitely want that changing. Not to be reading that anymore. No, we don't want Cara's little tricks to... Uh... Smashing. 36,600. Have we bought everything? Fantastic. We will hop down to the map. Is there anything else we need? We are eventually... Well, we're going to need mowers. So it's a good job that we've actually... We did keep these here. That's done us quite a favour. So let's pop to the shop. I'm not going to bore you with running there. We're going to literally do the map hoppy thing. We're allowed to do. Fantastic. Lights. It's that time of year. Fantastic. So we need a mower set. What else do we need? We're going to need a windrow. Well, I know what I would go for. Although we're not allowed in this anymore, are we? Because it's classed as, yeah, it's classed as evils. Yeah, even though it was bought for the shop, <laughs> technically, now all of a sudden, it's not for our use. Right, so then we need to be going for a trailer. And it is in balers. They're loaders, even. We're going to go for the TPS. Uh, do we need that now? We could stick stuff on it now. It is not really a bad thing. Uh, colour. 
customise. I think we're going to try to go for the Agri Collar, which in Chrome, of course. Oh, that's a little bit too dark. It needs to be a little bit more like that, I would say. Yeah, it's not far off the Agri, but chromed. Yeah, we'll buy that. I love the way you can chrome it. It's amazing. It's one of my favourite mods. It is. Is it GTX that makes that? I will have to check because I don't like to, to give... GTX does some fantastic mods that I do have. I think it is, but I wouldn't like to... Right, so we've got that. We need the mowers. And of course I am going to go for my super duper cheap set. And I am going to do them the same colours we just done that because it suits it. And it is this is the cheapest set that you can... It is. It's about half the price of the HX20. Of course the HX20 does allow you to do um yeah you can also mulch so let's apply that and we will indeed buy and we need to go for the front one now that we now yeah seriously spending some money but then again we knew we would be right the first thing we need to do is oh no, no I've still got my lights on it's just a bit dingy I need to uh, unfold that so that the ramps appear I love this feature really love it you won't let you unfold well I can't let go can I no that's it not while it's doing this right now we need to stick the Mower on, mowers on, and is there anything else we need? Yeah, windrower. That's a point. Couldn't we stick these on and stick the windrower on the back? Hang on, no, no, you're being silly. I am, I'm going loose. I do need a windrower still, though, that is true. I think what we need to do is stick these little things on. And we need to reverse on might get the windrow on, it might lean backwards a little bit, we've got to get a bit creative we can't keep running up here all of the time yes, you've got uh, lives to lead and I don't want to uh, hold you up, I want to do this as quickly as possible but in a believable way let's have a stick yes if anything, if you're going to be very critical, you, the Fiat Agri's not got the best, but Fiat's never were fantastic for that. It's turning circles a little bit, not awful. I'm not. It's not. <laughs> that, that's cruel. I was going to say it's not John Deere, but yeah, it, 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 well, it is. In my experience, I like John Deere's, but I, I can't say that they're the best at steering. They are, yeah, consistently one of those. Tractor manufacturers that really. Oh, I think I'm blind. Why is that not? I think am I hitting it with a mower? Oh, uh, yeah. I will often do that. I think I was. Let's try that again. It's because you're going up at a weird angle. I think you need to do a run up with it, so it's going to be a little bit like. It is. I think the mower somehow is catching on that, which I don't see how it could, but perhaps it can. Fantastic windrower, and then we're going to go loose because it makes more sense. Because there is a secret weapon. I'm trying to think, is there anything we could have? No, we're not. We're not going to get it all in in one. That is definitely true. Anyway, no matter what we do, so we're going to need a windrower first. But we'll buy the second thing we need as well. So we're going to go for my absolutely beautiful, what I would always go for in a pinch, the Super Duper Russell Mash. Yeah, a European manufacturer. Uh, no, Russian. Yeah, is the, Russia's its own continent. So I'm going to keep it red for a change as well. I actually like that. Yes. And we then need something else at Super Duper price. Again, for especially Super Duper. I used to love this in FS19, the SIP. It is small, 
It is. There's no denying that. And if you'd got TARDIS money, would you buy that? Absolutely, yes. Of course I would. I think we will go out. Oh, you know we will do because it's it's nice to have different. I don't know what the difference is. We can always change it. We'll go top attachment and then we shall see if it's uh, uncomfortable or not. Three thousand eight hundred. So we're going loose because it makes more sense because we're sticking it in the Omatana. Now we're also going to need it. Oh no, no, we've got our trailer at the minute that will cope with things like that. It does do water as well. But unlike the normal ones, it does it does do uh, digestive. The, the normal ones of those, that's one of the adapted ones. Now I'm not sure this is going to play ball. Whoops. My bad. No, I don't think it's going to go up there. It's going to like skitter all over the place. I think I've tried to do this before. It'll be a bit of a miracle if we manage to pull this off. I would like to do this in two rather than have to go back three times. Do its wheels even? I don't think the wheels even go anywhere near. No, no, that's not going to help at all. The sit might go though. We could then just come back for the windrow. I know we need the windrow first. you know what right I'm gonna do all of this I'm yeah I should meet you at the fields I should get all of this done and I shall see you back at the field see you shortly I was thinking about this yeah we can chat can't we yeah I really I was thinking to myself you probably would wonder why do I why is the Fiat Agri why do I say it's one of the best tractors it's 180 horsepower I mean are we talking low low to low to high high low end uh, it's got a front loader. It's 26 miles an hour. It's got good lights. It, the only thing that was wrong with it was it was noisy. It's got a front three point link and a back three point link. Um, it's say got a reasonable turning circle. Quite agile. Yeah, it's got everything. A bit of everything. It's not the best at everything, but it is such a good all rounder. That you can't really discount it or you shouldn't discount it really right let's go and grab the rest yeah remember I can't reset because that would go back to uh, evil's farm and then they would know where we are wink wink <laughs> yeah we've got to stay out of the way obviously while my friend and the FBI build a case against evil yeah and also we may have to uh, Although you've got to be careful of entrapment, I do realise that now. But yes, we we obviously have got to try and um, draw them in a little without it being classed as entrapment. Although I, I find that a right a ridiculous in a way entrapment thing because if you're a, a dodgy dealer, then do you deserve? <laughs> Surely the law is supposed to actively find and try and find you out if you are a dodgy person if you don't cross the line of being illegal then that's okay yeah I, I don't understand it I, I know the law's got to be careful about doing dodgy things to a degree and I suppose that might be where the entrapment thing came through was the fact that the police officers are going to almost as bad as the criminals in trying to trap people oh, now can we get this all can we do this in what? I'm not sure if we can. Also, is it the right attachment or does that, does it want to be the lower one? No, that's perfect. Yeah, that is. Perhaps that's for small tractors. Let's see if we can get that on. It's not going to fit on perfectly, but we could strap it on. Careful, you're fast running out of space. Now then, does it need to run up? You've got to be careful because you can't really run up really with things like this. But yeah, you sometimes do need to do a bit of a burst of speed. Not bad. Oh, it's 
moving itself without me doing anything. Wow. I've got to be honest, that actually fits better than anything I've ever seen. Oh, wow, and there is a little bit of room. It is very precarious. Whoa, there's a wall there. Fantastic. I think you can pull off, it's just you can't let go. Yeah, you can. So that is the equipment that we need. We'll be doing that next session because it has been a fairly long one. I just wanted to set the scene. Still got 63,731. I think we're probably out of the fertiliser. Let's just check it. Yeah, because we are drawing to an end on this particular session, definitely. I'd just like to check, and it will be in productions, just to see what we're playing with. Whether I think we've, everything's gone now. Oh, I think I've just had a car. There's, yeah, there's nothing in that at all. Nothing whatsoever. Uh, this is what we would need to look at. As it, I think it'll have done the digestate overnight. Yeah, that's all gone as well. And the Omatana we haven't got going yet. So, oh wow, I love the caravan. Yeah, so we've now got the beginning of a business. We literally can set out and do what we want. Yeah, of, of course, it's a, it is a very frugal set of equipment. And I don't mean that in a derogatory way. What I mean is, it's bare bones. It's not what you'd probably choose if you'd got more money. I probably would choose the Omatana now. I really do like the uh, TARDIS forage wagon. I think it's amazing. It's really, I think, based upon one of the classes. I was looking at all the different models and thinking that's a class. <laughs> Which is funny because the uh, the other TARDIS is also the class carrot. So, yeah, it seems like Omatana's a liked class. <laughs> You could say she's a classy lady. <laughs> now then, now then, let's just no, no, to play our words. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. It's honest. Yeah, so we've got, literally got the beginnings of a business. We can now mow our field. I will be doing this manually. I will also, in time, grab a. Did we check the sales? I think we did. Yeah, we did. There's a class massive tractor which had I got the money really that would set us right the way through the entire let's play in fact probably is a little bit too big for this let's play but I've got to be honest I've had them on British maps before I love the fact that these have got a three front three point link absolutely amazing and that is a snippet for what that is but yeah again this probably suits the map a little bit better right, so then we need yeah, why have we bought... No, no, we've not really bought it as a bale trailer. Not truthfully. No, we haven't. We have bought it as a, a trailer to bring equipment and stuff from the shop. And it's well worth 1500 for that. Yeah, even already it's saving us time. But that is where we are leaving things for now. Yeah, we are... I just, did I really need that? Yeah, yeah, because I'm going to need it for water. I mean, yeah, I am true. I am thinking old school. I didn't really need it for the digestates. Because we can move the digestate by our minions from there to there. So, yeah, it is true. I am thinking a little bit old school. But we are going to need one. We are going to definitely need one for water and for silage. And that. And it was 5,000. So, I've got to be honest, for a 40 tonne of that is amazing. Yeah. But, yeah, we, we are moving on a pace. I've got to be honest, I didn't expect in the end of this year for us still to be, you know, to actually have this amount of money. Do we go... Do we go bigger? As in, have, is there a little field close by where we could sort of double... I think those over there... We did look at one of those. We could do it. We still have 20,000 left. That's not quite so much. There's one next door. That's going to be too expensive. I like... I do like 118. 0 0.58. 0 0.49. So actually, we are getting 118 for the same price almost. Slightly less. And we're getting more because its yield is also better as well. I think we're going to do it. The one thing I am going to say... Now, I don't like cutting normally. 
it's October. Yeah, we it's got it will grow one stage. Can we afford to be as picky as we normally would be? Probably not. The other thing is you've got to look at it this way is yeah, we, we're going to cut it in October, but it is a pet eight month. I've always said this, I don't mind it in the first year. Well, this is our first year, so I think we've got no option but to do that. So next session, we'll be cutting our two fields. We're down to 20,411, because you've got to be a little bit aggressive, really. As in, aggressive is the wrong... It is the wrong word, really. It is. And we've... St let One last thing. Let's go and have a quick look at the fields. Yeah, I'm not, I can't remember. We looked at the one next door, which we would have need to plough out. So the fact that we've got a proper grass field is brilliant. We will need a scan out, but I might well lease one. But I'll probably lease it at the beginning of next year because there's no real need for us to have to scan these fields because we're not going to gain anything from them. The cut is already, yeah, the grass is as long as it is. And no matter what we do, scanning isn't going to assist us right now. There's also 102, 103 and 104 in time. Uh, no, it's still further. Ah, hang on a minute. No, no, it is to that one. I know what you're thinking. But no, you really can't get in there. It really is outside the map, even though technically technically you could see it I'm only trying this because I do know with some Oxygen Davids where there was this at the top of one of my favourite maps that he did where he could sneak through but obviously it's got to be set that way so this is a very very narrow field how much are these? Just out of interest. I know we've bought now and I'm happy because, yeah, these are nice. 18. That's quite a bigger one. And that one's split in the middle. Okay, well, we'll have to have a look at these, definitely. But for now, let's go and have a look at the field we ha actually do own. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering is that really is a field? Which is weird that that isn't actually a part of the map. Because if. <laughs> It's sort of, yeah, if this fits in, you do wonder, well, why does that not? I did catch it, oh, terrific. Let's go and see this, and then that is literally, was gone on this last thing. Yeah, no, it really is. That wasn't that wasn't me. I mean, yeah, I was just checking. Yeah, because we all know, obviously, Oxygen David often does have no... Oh, hang on a minute. Is this our field entrance, or... Or is it... No, this is... Yeah, you can't get in there, because it's, like, not part of the map. Now, if we get in through... Yeah, there's a double... A tri we went in the field last episode on through the left hand side gate this is our field fantastic ah got to try these things. It just looks a little bit lower than everywhere else. And we did half get through, but I don't know if the, the game would crash. I always think if you're going to try things like this as well, you probably should save the game. Because we all know sometimes that you were... Uh... No, no, it really is like, yeah, you were climbing to an invisible wall. So at least we know. At least we know. I was just, yeah, you've got to try these things. So this is our field, yeah, our grass field. So we've now got two grass fields, and we will be working very hard on. Yeah, we will. We'll cut it one more time. Yeah, we'll cut it this uh, today, this month. Should we say not this? Not today. Yeah, we'll cut this and the other one, and we will get some silage over over winter, and we shall see what we shall see. We see what happens in the sales once we've done the cut, because we're just going to sit on top of what we've done. I am happy with keeping my gate open. 
but all that remains to be said for this session is thank you very much for watching love to hear for your comments about anything about uh, evil or whatever or yeah um, things you've liked about the storyline things you haven't liked things I could do to improve things I always like to have uh, um, constructive criticism but yeah for now I'm going to say goodbye for now <laughs>